Uh, let's get back to, uh, uh, to Rupert. Rupert. Now, Rupert, so you're, you're on the uh, for Survivor Officers. They don't give anything. You're out there fishing for food and all right. that. But they don't. I know it's a television show, right? And obviously, you're talking to the camera all the time. It's my understanding that the producers can't talk to you. You, don't, you never hear them asking you questions. How does that work? That you process? don't. You're really they. You're on camera all the time, twenty four seven, day and night. There is no time the camera is off. You're not supposed to ever talk to the cameraman either. On the production side, they don't want you to make friends with them because you are telling them, you know, if if you're doing bad in the game, you want to explain doing bad. I don't want to tell my buddy how evil I am. You know, mm-hmm. they want you to understand that the cameraman and on the production side are off limits. Now, the producers do take you off and give you time to just talk and vent and get away. It's like the seclusion booth in Big Brother. It's like any other time in any of the reality show that you get your time to say your piece. Mm -hmm. That's where they get all those footages, all those hours to edit together to make the narration of the show. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you become oh. somewhat friendly with the producers or do they they have to make sure they oh. don't they don't tell you any secrets? Right. Or? They they don't ever they don't ever want to be leading you in any way. They nope. want uh-huh. you to just let say me you your own way. Because this is there's a million dollars at stake and this is a game show, do right. they have an independent uh person running around to make sure everything's cool with the rules? You know, I don't know. There's so many people involved on that production side that I know there are referees out there and independent people out there judging these you competitions. You don't know who they are you there the, is so many people around and you are so focused on by the time you really get into it after a few days of just no food no water your brain stops thinking about everything around you and you start thinking about survival you know there's no, so many people on the island do any of them ever get in your way when you're trying to do something the um a lot of the people complained that when especially you're out there fishing you mm-hmm. know that's it's hard to have the camera guy following you around when you're trying to sneak up on fish right. and that was one of the main that was one of the main reasons now, that would they you, didn't get much footage of me catching fish with my bare hands would you literally say to the, would you say to the guy look could you just not give me a break and get back there for 2 seconds i got to get this fish there would there would be times where after a while they'd get cuz by the second one they saw how i fished and they saw what was going on with me and they could kind to hang in the background and knew when the you know the kill was coming up they and you know with their telephoto they didn't have to get as close they mm-hmm. understood you know i mean that's your survival that's your food sure. so yeah. they it was a good yeah, you got some lousy good, cameraman who's going to deny you food oh or, yeah, yeah you, you don't you know well, the cameramen want to get the shot and everybody wants to see but you also want to eat mm-hmm. now, I, I we talked to mark burnett the producer of survivor and the most amazing thing to me in all the episodes i've watched you never once ever see any of these camera people oh no but it's my understanding there are more than a couple hundred people involved in the production. So these camera people are everywhere. Oh, yeah. But they never show up on – they. it's amazing. That oh, yeah. Clean. There oh. are hundreds of people on the production side that are out in the woods, out in the jungle, out did undercover. You know them, did you know them by name? Did they wear ID tags? Or? No, there's no – you know, after – you know, like I say, by the second one, you got to the point where you heard them talking enough that you could pick their names out. And it would always freak them out if you called them by name because, you know, they're not – you're not supposed to know who even – they are but, but under what know. circumstance can you talk to a camera guy can you oh well when you get when you get crazy enough i don't care if i'm not supposed to talk to you or not if you're in my face i'm going to talk to you and if you yell at me and say you're not supposed to do that i'll you know i'll still talk to you it's just it's like if i saw you chewing gum i'd try and beat you up and t- not really but I, it's just <laughs> no, I, yeah there's a guy chewing gum while you're chewing uh, sand no, i yeah. want it do they, so. now because it's a tv show do they ever before one of the challenges walk over with a comb and try to at least get you oh, no. oh no there was never any primping never any only on from the drama queen perspective maybe jerry out there primping before we leave for a challenge or doing something but, but you're there's no makeup with artist. no there's no makeup artist there's no makeup there's no mirror there's no but there's conversely no. they wouldn't try to make you look worse than oh no did. no okay. no they wouldn't make you look worse either okay you know there was there was no help either way with all the mosquito bites and stuff you would they didn't have to try they didn't have to try and make you look worse what about about safety do they have uh, lifeguards and do they have uh, someone standing there with a gun in case uh, some big animal comes into the camp how does that work there you know you, you always kind of saw the military around way out there at sea way around because you are in third world you know it is there is things that could happen you're 
you know, who knows what goes on. There's sometimes where if somebody got hurt and needed medevaced out, you've got to have a quick boat or a quick chopper there. Do they have know? a doctor? There is a, there is a medical staff. You know, there was a few times where people got bit by eels or sliced open on different things and had to have a few stitches. You know, it never really made air, but they never, they didn't want anybody to really to, die. To die. They yeah. didn't want anybody to die. Damn. Fingers <laughs> rot off because they're open wounds or, you know, Mom nobody's going to die. I won't watch that, till that someone dies. Up a point, though. <laughs> do you think with the, the way they've stretched reality shows in the last few years and pushed the envelope, do you think ultimately somebody's going to die on a reality show? You know, with uh, everybody out there doing them, like, and the stunts getting crazier and crazier. Certainly a possibility. You know, oh, my uh, gosh, yeah. But obviously, the oh sur- gosh, Survivor, yeah, is, is, is Survivor is the Cadillac. If oh, you yes. 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 They do take you care ever, of you, you know. I know you're a really funny guy. And Did you ever sort of, after starting to lose your sanity, just want to do something goofy when they, you're sitting and doing a camera interview and all of a sudden you go, line! <laughs> 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 do you ever do something to try to make the camera guys laugh and... Oh, you know, it's always when you're sitting there, the most fun is just ripping on the other people, mm-hmm. saying all your everything that you want to get out. Don't hold it back. You can't. You don't. Now, when when you were watching the shows, because right. obviously the show right. was primarily taped, except the, the last part. Where exactly you, right. When the, the, you haven't seen them before. They don't send you oh, a tape. No. And, oh, no. So you don't know how it's going to look and how it's going to be edited or what. Because sometimes they edit them in such a way that you're not suspecting the person who gets for you. Well, that's a surprise. They were right. They love to mislead. They love to show, and then at the end, switch it, and this other person Do you think the editing was pretty fair overall? I think everybody, you are who you are. That game strips you down. There is no way to really portray a different person than you are. They can show a little more of the bad that, you know, when, Mm -hmm. like on the finale, when they said it was portrayed a little different, a lot of those people have, you know, a giant space of bad and a little space of good. It's easy to pull all the bad out and show that. You know, everybody had a little good out there, too. Rupert is our guest. Are they ever going to do a Survivor blooper show? Because there, know, there had to be, be. There would be some great outtakes in that. Oh, my gosh. They idea. had three. They had 300 hours or so of tape to make one hour a show. There would wow. have to be some really funny, goofy oh my things gosh, with yeah. camera people. and With everybody, right. That would be a great one. Now, how do they do this? And again, I don't want to get I don't want to get indelicate here. Right. But they don't want you having any conferences or any meetings away from anybody. They pretty you, much. Yeah. Now, obviously, you have to do certain human functions. That is there a special area where you do they have a thing cordoned <laughs> off? Or, okay, you go over there, and no. that's like the no man's land. How is this adding to the interview? <laughs> <laughs> there is no there is no downtime. Sometimes you could get away. And my my way of but privacy, would you say to the cameraman, look, I really have to use the toilet facility, and there don't is film me there. Would they? There you sign you sign up for it. You're under mm-hmm. you know. You're See, because I have. Camera I don't want. And I don't want to get too deep into this, but I have a performance anxiety. <laughs> you get over that very quickly. It is amazing. You have no idea how uptight I'd be in the Pearl Islands for a month and would never have gone. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. No, 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 why does Tom no, look so blue? Oh, you after a while you would go. But I mean, if there's a guy with a camera. Oh, on me, I know. No, I know. Tom would hire it's a guy a- with. A stick. <laughs> <laughs> to dig it out. We're going to take a break. Come right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show.